Would you take a whipper on some homemade trad gear? Uh, they kind of resemble ball nuts. They look kind of bomber and at the same time a little janky. So we'll find out with our new Cam Crusher, I think 3.0 is the version we're on. It's a much smaller device made out of four inch C channel that goes all the way around. And then it has some angle iron on both sides and some half inch plates in the middle that have horse hoof files welded to the inside that keeps uh, gear from sliding out. Because actually our first cam crusher, the, the cams would slide out, which was a bummer when I was trying to break cams, but it was insightful when I learned that the outer pressure doesn't overcome the lack of friction. So we'll be getting some different types of rock plates uh, glued to uh, some steel plates on the inside and we will see if friction uh, plays a role with different rocks and maybe even wet. So stay tuned on this is more or less the first grand opening of our rock adapter and these have been on the to-do list for six months to two years. I actually don't know. But with our last cam crusher it wasn't, it was just too big and too flexible and too weird to do the small stuff. And this actually will go up to a number four if you over cam it, a number three perfectly well. And even with this Cam Crusher 3.0, we could put some pressure plates on the inside to see if we actually get four times pressure going out as we apply in the pole, which is what the math says we get, but nothing as we've learned is perfectly the way math says it should be. Let's start with this yellow sort of ball nut. It has two wheels that slide it up and down. The thumb loop is super good enough, but it's definitely got some homemade vibes, but I imagine it will hold. I didn't expect it to break like that. It still works except where it doesn't. Okay, the next one is this blue ball nut hybrid and that's what it looks like before we broke it. So that did not damage it. It just well, scratched up, but it's, it's still, it's just bent. Let's get, let's get it in there better. Oh, the head came off. So those are the wheels. The nut got crunched. So these wires were inside that part and it slid up here and these wires detached from this head. So the whole thing basically came apart at six kilonewtons. So this is a much shorter piece, which I think is a lot better if you're aid climbing. You don't want to clip this loop and then lose all this distance right here. This looks like a copper head swaging this cable here. And then that looks like a brass head. That doesn't have a lot of range of when it fits in and when it locks. So let's pull on it. Oh, the head came off again. Oh, this this head was hollow. This is what had the wires in it. Not a lot, actually, a lot of meat there. And then the brass piece is definitely chewed up. It's a bend in the wire and it pulled out through the bottom. It still has some aluminum right here. So that's why this is completely um, just jacked up here. So this is a cone that slides between these two plates that have been machined out in the center in order to sandwich this in. When it's fully squeezed here, it sticks out all the way up, making this the most narrow. And then as it comes back in, it spreads those out. The problem is as you use it, this can go all the way down and then you can't get it back in. It's a two-handed thing to get that cone back in there so you can place it. But it also has these clamps, which is definitely what you want in some trad gear. It's got some exposed wires, which definitely is what you want in your trad gear. And you want this to look as handmade as possible when you're looking for trad gear. Hmm. Look at that graph. It stayed until about four, four-ish. These things just slipped all the way down the cable. But then also, the cone looks jacked. That looks jacked. That looks more messed up. I think the concept's a nice idea, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you jump on that?
If you have cams that you would like to see tested, please go to contact us on hownotto.com and let me know. I actually have a really cool test that somebody sent in where I get to break test a recalled alien. And recalled aliens were, they had a dimple, they kind of broke at the stem right up in here. And uh, it, was, it was the talk of the town for a while. And you don't really see those floating around too often. So I'm pretty excited that we got our hands on that. So if you could like subscribe, do those things and uh, hownottoswag.com also helps us out too.